look below you and jettison all unnecessary equipment. Ensure that you maintain your advanced combat helmet. All right. You will activate the quick release in the waistband. All right. Ensure that all canopy and suspension lines are fully elongated. All right. You will then activate your chest strap. If you find yourself drifting towards the body of wires, immediately attempt to. You cannot slip away. You will activate the quick release in your chest strap and you will immediately regain canopy control. Prior to entering the water, you will assume a prepared land attitude by keeping your feet and knees together, knees slightly bent, chin on chest, eyes open. You will place your hand on those legs to have to them. All right. Upon not contact that water, immediately activate both of those leg strap ejector snaps and throw your hands above your head, arch your back, and attempt to slip out of the parachute harness. Up toe. Land. Turn left. Look at your left boot heel. Left boot heel. Land. Alright, so you're actually going to walk through the door and then jump. Okay, so the door should be at your peripheral when you jump. Uh, Extraction parachute then acts as an anchor in the air, pulling the parachutes off the load and deploying them. The cover chutes then inflate, allowing the platform to float to the drop zone. The number of G11 parachutes is determined by the weight of the load. The G11 cover parachute is made of ripstop nylon, weighs 250 pounds, with 100 feet in diameter, and can handle 5,000 pounds for each parachute. The aircraft are flying at an altitude of 800 to 1,200 feet and an airspeed of 130 knots. The pilot is maneuvering the aircraft over a pre-selected ground reference point. The first aircraft has dropped eight dual-row system, or DRAS, consisting of a dual-row airdrop system, allowing for rapid deployment of vehicles critical to the assault. carrying paratroopers are approximately three minutes out at this time. The jump masters and troopers are making their PD commanding general for operations, Brigadier General Brian Winsky. I'll be able to zoom in pretty far and see that far away. Watch out. Hey, turn around. Watch out. Move. Move. Hey, the line of departure is right here. We're good. We're good. We're good now. Keep moving. Yeah.
friendly aircraft. T-5s, consisting of artillery and mortars, provide all the fire support for the operation. Depending on the look... their own vulnerability to a hostile fire. If you listen, you can hear the platoon leader with his squad leaders as they continue to fight and maneuver to the objective. Now flowing into the room using their turn battlefields as they close in and destroy the enemy. The platoon leader will then direct his platoon to conduct a sensitive site exploitation or SSE searching for all sensitive material or intelligence to bring back to higher headquarters for future development. Put it 
Lån, 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 lån. Bailey, two men. Yeah. Uh, pretty stretched.